Mr. Akinolu Akiyele, the MD of Coronation Life Assurance, as he shares some opening remarks with you all. Good evening, everyone. It's, uh, it's, I'm happy to see everyone. Thanks everyone for coming. Um, it's um, delighted to be here um, today in the presence of so many of you. Um, just like myself, I'm an arts enthusiast. Uh, Coronation Arts um, Gallery events are always an exciting opportunity uh, for us to come together as um, like-minded um, lovers of art to indulge uh, in conversations about arts and culture in society. Um, in the quest, in our quest to democratize access um, to arts for all. And today, um, we have the pleasure of having partnered with Mr. Dotun Suleiman, um, himself an esteemed collector, and um, art lover and art patron, who, of course, needs no introduction to the arts community to showcase some pieces from his prized and private collections. Uh, Mr. Suleiman, thank you very much. We are very honored. To be here, we thank you for giving us access to your and your collection, and uh, we do not in any way take take it for long. Thank you very much. In view of that, uh, I'll, I'll be joined um, tonight uh, by Mr. Suleiman in the mentioned earlier, as well as um, our founder and chairman, indefatigable chairman, who actually flew in this morning for this event, and I think for that he deserves a, a round of applause, uh, Mr. I will I came up with you. Thank you very much as well. Um, as well as um, all executives of um, Coronation Group and its um, subsidiaries and affiliated companies. Um, I thank everyone for coming. And um, in view of that, it gives me great pleasure to officially welcome you to another um, exclusive exhibition at the Coronation Arts Gallery. Um, please join us as we learn more about the wonderful world of arts and immerse ourselves in the stories behind the exhibited pieces arranged uh, by our renowned curator, Kogoma Ebila, whom I, I mean, most of us are familiar with. Uh, please enjoy um, this evening with company of old friends. I see the networking has begun, as well as we make new ones. And um, let's have a very, very wonderful evening. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. All right, so I do believe it is um, time for our guests to go into the gallery and take a look at the amazing exhibition. I do believe that um, Gozzi will be leading the way. I'm here for, I mean, to enjoy the Tumfa Marquis collection. It's um, impressive. I've been blown away. Um, it's the authenticity, the originality of how it captures colors and life experiences. If you've looked around, um, a lot of the Tumfa Marquis um, collection, um, um, I was looking at um, this one behind me by Ben and Wonu, and you can almost see um, how he expresses his um, ideal view of the world in the pieces. Um, I've seen some of his work before and just the opportunity to see this one is, um, yeah, it's exhilarating. Um, the way he uses the colors, it almost feels like, uh, I'm looking at this and all I can see is his use of colors, the way the um, women seem to be in sync and it feels like peace and that is I was telling someone just now, I could hang this and just watch this in my room and just look at this in my room all day. 
What I love about art is the freedom of expression. Every single art piece that you see here expresses something that the artist is trying to share with everyone. Uh, my greatest inspiration, I think, is I love abstract art. I love the fact that everyone has a different interpretation of the work. Okay, and um, I've seen a few pieces here that are really amazing. Well, I love that you can express yourself in many ways through art. Um, not just painting, even dancing is a form of art, you know. But I just love that a lot of people here today have decided to showcase their talent, you know, through colors, through shapes, through pictures of people, and just different things, you know. Look, art is an expression of your soul. I personally am an artist. I studied industrial design graphics, so I have a very personal relationship with art. It's the most intimate expression of your soul, and it's just amazing and beautiful. I can feel an end, like a pathway into the artist's soul. Like you can find so many expressions of so many emotions and each art is incredibly unique and dynamic. I think he poured his soul into this collection and he's worth all the praise he's getting right now. For me, art is life and um, it's a very creative way of bringing out our innermost thoughts, uh, particularly because people are different and the same thing can mean different things to different people. So for me, art is that you know, creative way of bringing out your thoughts and your views about society, about life generally. For Coronation, um, our purpose is to, just like I've talked about, you know, evoking creativity in people. Um, Coronation is about creating, um, giving people opportunity to be creative themselves. And we thought um, art is one way in which we can bring people together to, you know, look at life in different perspectives as shown by the arts and as you can see from the the works today from um, Mr. Suleiman, you can see it's a lovely piece of um, different parts of life and um, that's what we are all about coronation and that's what we want to do. We know there are many art lovers in Nigeria and Africa and we always want to use this as an opportunity for them to come together and then to you know improve the the um, the love of arts, basically, in Africa. I am more. I don't. I don't put my thoughts down in in, in drawing, but I use it in descriptive terms. So I love proverbs. I like African proverbs, and I'm always fascinated when I see proverbs, and I use it a lot in describing things about life. So I'm not the type that draws, but more around, you know, saying things creatively. What I love about art. Wow. I love that. Art is basically a way for me to sort of express myself by viewing and also to see how other people are expressing themselves because what I interpret is really what makes me feel that I'm part of the process. But the amazing things that I see here really make that, that question very simple but very complex because there are so many pieces you can't love all of them but there are some that you just see and you have a crush on and I think it just appeals to uh, some of our senses. I'm the curator of the show here at Coronation and the consultant curator to Coronation Group. Love the, the desire to express not just my stories but the stories of others who may not be as uh, verbose as me. Yeah, so like almost like a griot. I wanted to be a griot and a, 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 te a storyteller in the multi-arts. I've worked across fashion, interiors, product design, literature, music, film, and arts. So I'm a multi-curator, I'm a multi-arts curator. My first piece, I remember I put my first piece in 1979. So that's 44 years ago. For collecting. Well, first of all, to be surrounded by beauty, you know, and also to encourage creativity and support creative people. Yeah, that's basically what it is. And it's also a store of value as well. So I run an arts foundation, so it is integral to every aspect of my life and my career. And I am here to obviously support Ugoma and Dorton as a collector and really to support the, the wider infrastructure of the arts and cultural ecosystem here in, in Lagos. One thing I would say is unique about artists is the fact that they bring to bear 
what the uh, their imaginations. So, uh, for example, you have an artist imagine, oh, uh, can I have a sea looking like this, and they put it into painting or drawing. So that's what I believe uh, artists brings into the world. They are trying to create uh, imaginations and bring, putting their imagination into paintings and drawings. So with that, they create form of imagination. That kind of set a guide or direction for someone to. Because when you see an art, you are trying to take about oh, what is this person trying to draw, and you're trying to exactly. So that I think that's one thing I believe um, artists brings into this world and worships them. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a very wonderful idea. Uh, it's, a, it's a laudable event to having bringing people together to democratize access to art. Like what, uh, as they've mentioned in the uh, post they put out concerning the art gallery that as coronation we are trying to democratize art creation. We are also doing the same thing for art. So we are seeing this play out whereby you open it, have an art gallery, and you give an access, open access to everybody to just come and have a view and also like I said brings a lot of people into the artist world. Yeah so that's just it. Yeah that would be it. But there's an awful lot of arts in private collections that people don't see. So if you don't come to my house or come to any of the other places where my collections is displayed, you will never have a chance to, to see it. So it's something that needs to be done. And for that reason I would say coronation needs to be congratulated for this such a good job. Thank you for I for coming up with the initiative and of course for Coronation Pro for, for doing this. Now as you can see, it was, it's not cheap to put this to all. It's not cheap at all. And uh, even though we always wish it to happen, we take the likes of coronation and like-minded organizations to sponsor it. I mean I can't I, I can't imagine the costs of putting up this show. But I do remember that uh, even a short while is a low. <laughs> you know, so, so, so for me, it's, it's, it's delightful to me. Now, what you are seeing, of course, is a small selection of a fairly substantial collection. So, uh, but again, that's what you can do in one evening. So, we can do this every quarter for the next 20 quarters. <laughs> I love us. I've always loved us for a very long time. So it's quite, um, it's quite an opportunity. It's quite a pleasure to be here today. And I've gone through all the pieces over here, and they all look awesome. So what I can do, what I can say about all the exhibitors today, the only thing I can say to them is well done and well done and well done again. Like being a creative person myself as a fashion designer. You know, I'm, uh, I love the, um, the opportunity that the ass gives you to explore, just like it gives you in all, in all other spheres of, um, of music, 
passion and all that is all about us. So I love us and I love that opportunity and the freedom to create. What I love most about art, um, the fact that um, everyone can actually define art in their own way. That's the that's what I actually love most about art. For a while now, so um, I work with Art Splits. Um, art Split is an art trading technology platform where art lovers invest in fractions of African art pieces, African artworks. It's a good idea because um, a lot of collectors and investors have to understand that the African art has a great value and um, I think a lot of Africans did not really understand the value of artwork and uh, right now we're getting to understand the value of artwork and people are investing and making money out of artwork, African artwork.